Hi Gemini, welcome to this reading. You might find this resonates more if Gemini is your sun or rising sign. So let's have a look and see the messages that Spirit would like would like you to know at this time. Okay, wow. Okay, I feel this reading might be a bit of a, <clears throat> not a telling off, but like a pointing out, a reminding of or a reminder of something you know something where there's repetitive behavior that's keeping you stuck some kind of obstacle you're working through because this card came out very quickly it's like your higher self is desperately trying to get this message through to you it's probably not going to be the first time you've heard this message and it's around something that isn't moving forward in your life so let's keep going yes four of swords um i think this is your higher self being a bit firm and saying something's not moving, something's not changing, you could be doing more. So <laughs> what I will say is if you don't want to hear um, a tough love message from your higher self, this might not be the reading for you at this time. But, you know, we'll see how this how this goes. You might think you don't have the answer, is what I'm seeing, but actually you do. King of Pentacles. For some of you, it could be to do with work, money, um, something to do with the practical realm. Okay, so there's a feeling almost of defensiveness, like I don't want to hear this message. If I knew what to do about this, I would have done it already. But you see how he's laying down and there's a sword underneath him. For me, that's like the Ace of Swords. So the truth is there. It just might take a bit of digging around um, to find it. Okay, what else please? Messages for my viewers from their higher selves. We have the nine of wands, so it's a situation you're tired of. Uh, maybe you feel like you've been struggling forward with this for some time. You might feel kind of alone in this as well, actually. Or like you have to be on guard, you have to be defensive. I will put these back because we've got quite a chunk that fell out, but I can see the three of wands. So there is part of you that's saying, I want better, I want something more here, or I want a new situation, I want to move forward. I'm looking out into the future. I also feel it could be something where you sit down, you think about this for a while, but then it's time to do something else. Like there could be distractions that come up um, that keep pulling on your focus here. It's not something that's going to be figured out overnight is what I'm seeing. What else please? Queen of Swords reversed. So it's something, yeah, you're kind of annoyed with this, frustrated with this. Um, Page of Cups. We have the Tower, Scorpio there, and the Five of Pentacles. Okay, so this could be something you're saying, if it was if it was just connected to emotions or something to do with my internal world, I would have made the change, but it's connected to my practical reality. It's connected to finances. Um, it's connected to my home, my stability, uh, maybe even family here. And there's a feeling of, I don't know where I'm going um, or I don't know what the next step is and I don't want to blow this up because it's not logical, it's not practical and I will end up in this five of pentacles destitute place or energy or just not having what I need. Um, so that could be the fear that's holding you back. Now, I feel spirit saying two things. You do have the knowledge you need, but you will have to actually take action to dig that up, whether it's journaling, having discussions with someone you trust to sort of talk it out, whether it's, um, I don't know, looking into certain things, getting practical, doing research to find out which option is viable or what your next steps are going to be. Um, my cat's joining joining us today. <laughs> I also feel the second message here is if you get some kind of an offer, even if it seems small, follow follow up with that, follow through with that, because we've got the page of cups and then we've got the seven of wands. It's almost like a resistance, a defensiveness. No, I don't want that cup. That cup is silly. How can this cup um, sustain me? I'm the king of pentacles. I need something that's far more practical. Um, the spirit is saying, don't dismiss it. And it could be, that what's happening is you're kind of dissatisfied with your practical realm, um, but it's bringing in stability and your that voice inside that's speaking truth to you, your higher self basically is saying, you're not happy, you're not content. And there's a feeling of, yes, well, I'm ignoring that, that voice. I'm ignoring that message because 
there's no way to take what would make me happy and make it realistic or viable. So this could be work, it could be something to do with changing up a relationship or a family dynamic, it could be um, it could be that say it say we are talking about romance here it could be that there is someone you're interested in but they are in another commitment so you're you're almost getting frustrated with this desire with this longing and you can't see a way out of this um but there's the overwhelming feeling here is a desire and need for change that's being confirmed by your higher self your higher self keeps trying to bring this up into your consciousness and i think you're getting you know you're beginning to get very frustrated with this because you don't know what the next step is and then your higher self's message for you is you already know and then that's really annoying because as far as you're concerned you don't know or you would have made the change you're not staying in this position for fun it feels stressful it feels exhausting it feels lonely it feels emotionally dissatisfying it feels like you're beginning to get quite cross about it um okay so let's see what else then Ace of Pentacles reversed, Nine of Cups reversed, that's it. I mean, I keep, this is such a clear message. I keep getting it over and over. It's almost like I need a tangible opportunity to come in first before I make this transition. And I would love if this new opportunity was in alignment with my wish, my desire, Nine of Cups, what makes me happy. Um, but you're not seeing that opportunity just yet. Okay, Four of Swords, Queen of Swords reversed. I just saw judgment trying to come out. Page of Wands reversed. The Magician in reverse. We've got Gemini energy there. The Ace of Wands. Okay, um, a message from your higher self. Do not forget about all the things you have manifested and created in your life up until this point. It could even be the situation that you find yourself in now because you're showing up as the King of Pentacles. We don't get to that position without sustained effort. So it could be at some point, this was something you wanted. This was something you manifested. This was something you worked for. If you did it then, you can do it again. So don't give up on yourself. Remember you are the magician um, and the magician has... All of the suits available, we've got pentacles, cups, wands, swords. So the magician has the external resources, but also the internal re resources. So it's a reminder. If you've tried to hunt down this new opportunity or to break this position that you're currently in for something that's more satisfying using, say, pentacles, swords, the practical realm, the logic, and you're hitting a, a brick wall, how about moving into maybe cups and wands? You know, where is my passion? Where, what fills me up emotionally? Page of wands. What would get me so excited that I would willingly start on a new journey, feeling completely inexperienced and unprepared with nothing but my enthusiasm and commitment? What gets me that fired up? Um, and from there, then move back into swords and pentacles. Okay, well, how can I make this practical? How can I, <laughs> how can I grind this? How can I ground this? What opportunities might be available for me around this um, passion that I have. So you're being guided to think about what fires you up, what gets you excited. Um, even if it seems completely impractical, even if it seems like, well, I can't make work out of this, I can't make a business out of this, or I can't bring in enough money. Um, or I don't know if it's a hobby, maybe I'm too late or too old, you know, certain certain activities we think of as having cut off points in terms of age. It's almost like, well, allow yourself to to have that feeling before you shut it down and then and then think well actually maybe there is a way um when i was younger ballet was very you know you have to start when you're age three or that's it and now there are all these classes popping up at gyms like um ballet bar workouts or whatever they're called and i see um advertisements for adult ballet classes and stuff you know so so things um have changed don't know why I'm giving that message. Things have changed, you know. <laughs> Society has moved forward. Um, but yeah, have a look around. It might be that there is something available now that, that there wasn't before. Even if we think of everything with the pandemic, you know, so many things have moved online now. So many more people working from home, working remotely. Other um, careers have popped up, you know, um, things that people are doing, selling, that maybe wasn't in demand before, that it is now. So things have changed a lot, even just say within the last few years. So it's definitely worth checking in, even if it's something you looked at before and there wasn't a way forward. Maybe maybe it's, it's come along now, you know, and there are new opportunities. Um, okay, let me have a look at this page of cups. Yeah. 
Yes, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. I think some of you have had an opportunity and you're kind of resisting it and others of you may have an opportunity coming in and you might be inclined to resist it because it's it's a thing of, well, yeah, that's very nice, but it's not actually going to help me long term here. It's just delaying. And actually the message from Spirit is you might be surprised with how far this Page of Cups opportunity can go. Um, something that seems like it's bringing in a bit of emotional fulfillment or it's a nice distraction. That could be... That could be something that you build up that manifests in the practical realm and brings in abundance. It's a different kind though, Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. It's almost, there's an energy of receiving. The King is masculine energy, whether we're talking about a man or a woman, it's I have a plan, I have a goal. I've, I'm going to take action to see it come into fruition. I've done it, there, I'm the King of Pentacles, excellent. I pushed my will, will onto the world, out into, into the 3D, I shaped it, I got what I needed, I did it, I can see my success. The Queen of Pentacles is feminine energy, again, man or woman, it's kind of more receptive. It's, I've planted the seeds, but now I know I need to back off and allow them to grow, and I will make sure they're okay and do what I need to do, but I can't force them to grow more quickly. There's something here about being in more of a receptive energy. I don't know if many of you watching resonate with being in the, quite a masculine energy, so you're always about doing, driving things forward, making things happen, taking the initiative and, and, and taking action on it. Um, and the message here is that's worked out very well for you. However, part of the dissatisfaction now could be with you being in this King of Pentacles position and feeling like you have to keep doing that. You're by yourself. This King of Pentacles, he doesn't look particularly happy. You know, there's kind of an annoyance around this and it's time to maybe see how it feels to grow, to manifest from this feminine based energy. The Queen of Pentacles is equally as grounded, as successful, as abundant, but it's just a different way of creating. Um, and she's definitely more open to receiving. And you know, that this, this Page of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, there could be something about balancing out the masculine feminine energy or just flipping it and now exploring it more from the, the feminine um, energy sort of side of things. Um, because I just think five of pentacles, sorry, yeah, king of pentacles, five of pentacles. I wonder if what you've been doing up until this point has been great, very successful, but it's almost like it's really slowing down. You're doing the same thing, putting the same effort in, but the rewards are much less. Um, and you're like, well, what, what's the reason for this? I'm getting angry. I've, I've been trying everything, but the success is not what it used to be and actually there's a message from your higher self that there's a bigger purpose here it's time for you to look into the feminine energy to balance it out to do whatever you need to do with that feminine energy to work with it more this is your time to explore in a different way and also to receive more um so if you find that you're, you're you know you're giving and giving and giving you're pushing you're trying to make things happen but like the, en the energy you're getting back is sluggish, it's slow. I think that's deliberate, the tower. The way you've been doing things is getting blown up and it's very uncomfortable because you don't know what's coming next. So there's definitely an element of trust here. Also, we know the tower, Scorpio energy linked to Pluto, death, rebirth. There is something here that on the surface, it might look objectively like, oh, you're just fed up, you know, and you you need a change but it feels heavy it feels like there's something bigger going on um something that could potentially be tr pretty transformational like you might get six months a year down the line and look back and think wow that was a pivotal point i feel much more different now i, I feel like i'm secure i'm seeing the success i want but i don't have to be alone pushing as hard it's it's more intuitive now it's more relaxed it's more like i've set up a process or a system and it works very well and every so often i check up on it or i oil the machine but it, it it's doing its own thing now it's bringing in the abundance i'm looking for without me having to you know give of myself so much um So it's almost a leveling up. Well, not almost, it is, but what it feels like is a tearing down. It feels like almost maybe it could feel in a way like you're being punished by the universe, forgotten by the universe. I'm How come I'm giving so much, but things are slowing down? I'm working so hard, doing all the right things, and I'm not getting enough back. You know, look, five of pentacles, this is unfair. It's because now it's time for you to receive the same amount, but for it to become easier for you. So yeah, I feel like it's, 
you know, it's a leveling up. Things will be better in the long run, but right now it's kind of scary because we know what we don't want. We don't exactly know what we do want or we don't know how to get to where we want to be. Now, if this is, say, romance, I do think there's a message here. It seems to me there's someone in your mind that you're looking at right now as being the one, king and queen of pentacles, but they may have pushed you out into the cold or there may be a separation or you might be needing for them to break down um, a current structure that they're in for the both of you to have something. And the message here is try to be open to um, other energy, other people in the meantime. So the Page of Cups, it's not even saying you have to go out and date other people. It's just the energy exchange. So being open to... Um, friendly conversations with people or strangers when you're standing in a queue um it could be light flirtations or whatever it is it's about being open to the energy of someone trying to give to you whether it's them giving a compliment giving you attention giving you their time just for the small length of time that you are having this brief interaction with a stranger or someone who is um serving you something or where you're paying for something or whatever it's about I don't know it's about receiving it's about but you don't have to like I said you don't have to push yourself into an uncomfortable position it's just a page it's not sort of like a knight or a queen or a king or anything you don't have to do anything you don't want to but um it, it's just because to accept this kind of this fun interplay with people who aren't just this king of pentacles for you it will be more sort of um you'll feel less alone or um like it's you against the world it just it just feels more friendly it feels more like you're being acknowledged it feels like um you and everyone else in the world it's like there's a feeling of companionship or um like a friendliness like we're all here together versus oh it's me i'm sad and lonely and everybody else you know um it's not to say we want anything from the page of cups or that it's going anywhere it's just a nice boost in our day that sort of thing Okay, so let me pause and see, you know, which decks, which other decks will be helpful here. Okay, so in keeping with my current love of this deck, <laughs> it's back. No, but seriously, I think it will be useful because it talks about, um, you know, depending on what comes up, possible changes, transitions, what's being asked of us in like an overarching way. And then I've got some fun, more playful messages here for guidance and advice. So just to sort of sum up what we saw with the tarot cards, um, I think what your higher self is trying to suggest as your next concrete step is to be more open, to be more receptive. The universe is trying to give to you through opportunities, people, situations. Don't write off anything or anyone just because it seems like it's not the end goal. It's not big enough. It's not secure enough. It's not the person that you want. Because we're you know there's an encouragement to be in this feminine energy of receptivity and i just think the more you receive the more you align with this this passion and this emotional fulfillment the more the steps will unfold and then you will see the concrete opportunities coming through because what i think you've been doing which is very very logical and naturally what we all do when there's a problem we try and think through it okay so if this isn't working what will you know but that i feel like you've not been seeing success there so it's time to try a different way and i think it could be scary it could take courage it's hard to to be in a situation we're unhappy with and to think right well i'm just gonna go with the flow it feels lazy it feels complacent it feels that things will never change and we're just giving up but actually you know if you feel that way, ask yourself, well, I've been trying. Have I had success? No. So I might as well, you know, try this other way. Do I think the way I've been doing things is going to suddenly bring in success overnight? Probably not. I've been trying for a while. So let me change it up. If I don't like the change, I can go back to what I was doing before. Um, so even though it's a situation that's very much about the tangible 3D world and maybe money or relationships, those big concrete things, I think the path to get there, to make this transition, to get across the bridge is through smaller, seemingly transient things like these random interactions or following bursts of inspiration here and there. You know, it doesn't quite logically make sense, but I do think that's the path forward and being kinder to yourself, not saying, oh, my my inner child would love to do this today, but that's stupid. You know, it's not sensible. It's not doesn't mean anything it's not going to last it's about saying i would love to do that i think i'm going to do that i have the time i'll do it you know um okay 
let's have a look so what else please messages for my viewers from their higher selves And if you're saying, I don't even know what I feel passionately about, though, that's the thing, you know, um, maybe set the intention with your higher self, you know, bring things into my awareness that, that get my attention that I, you know, might feel interested in. And I will take those nudges and I will follow through with them and see if, if they are things that I'm excited about. Um, with a page of wands, it could be saying a need to break a routine or to do a bit of traveling. And I don't even mean you have to go abroad or anything, just um, going out to different places nearby. Or let's say if on a Saturday you catch up with chores around the house, maybe you can do that Sunday. And on Saturday you can go to the local park or something or whatever, you know. Um, allow yourself to have some, some adventures. Okay, so what else? We have perfection. <laughs> Expansion. Look at this. And you see we have two. We've got almost like the inner voice and then the, the sort of like, I suppose, the inner child and then the adult version of her. I feel like the inner voice, your inner child, or even, you know, if we think of it as being your higher self, is constantly at this time trying to give you nudges and prompts. But your ego mind is saying, no, that's not that's not the thing I want. Or um, I don't know, there's a, there's a thing about being harsh with yourself here. Like I need to reach for perfection or I need to do something and make something perfectly or it's a no from me or I'm not going to entertain it. Um, or f I don't know, there's a something about, hmm. We know the message about not ruling things out if they seem too small or not the perfect angle. But there's also something about self-deception. It's like you're, or you could be shutting yourself down too quickly because you think you're not good enough for something or you've done something and it's not exactly how it should be. Let's say, for example, um, someone wants to, again, going back to the thing of joining a team sport or hobby or something someone wants to go and do something but they're like well i'm starting too late and i won't be as good or i'm okay at it i'm not good enough to join a club you probably are you know i mean not every when when people start something they're not expected to be perfect you can hone your skills after you've joined the group or the club or whatever um yeah just a feeling of letting this inner voice out letting this inner child have their fun you know children aren't to, you know, unless they've had a really abusive childhood, probably, they're not sitting, you know, at some sort of group activity saying, no, I won't participate because I won't be perfect. You know, they, they just want to, to jump in and have fun. Um, so it's about letting that voice, I think, speak and fulfilling that part of you and not judging it. You know, so again, page of wands reverse, going on the adventures and allowing yourself to explore and expand and see how you feel about it before you say no. And then we have expansion. So of course, you know, the way to expand at this point is through uh, passion and emotion, the wands and the cups. Okay, we have impasse, exactly. Banging your head against a brick wall. You might feel like you've been standing here forever trying to get past this guy who's like, no, you, you know, what you've been doing is not working. And you're like, well, what will work? And he's just saying nothing. And then we have victim. Yeah, see, I told you, this is kind of a kick up the butt from your higher self. <laughs> it's like you're saying you're at this blockage and it's making you feel like a victim. And we get why, because we have seen the effort and the energy you have applied here. You have not just laid down and cried. You've actually been trying However, we're just trying to redirect you to try in a different way. So I'm not going to keep going on, but I do think the logic, the rational thinking is not yet the way. That will have a part to play very soon. But um, for now, it's let this inner voice, you know, um, guide you. And that's what's difficult because we grow up and, and we're told that doesn't make sense anymore, you know. Um, and now you have to suddenly listen to it and let it dictate your choices, obviously, to, to a degree, to an extent. Uh, 
Okay, so let's see. Guidance and advice, please, for my viewers from their higher selves. Oh my goodness, this is so perfect. We've got playfulness and spontaneity. There we go. Okay. I am a playful participant in life and I always have the option to make something fun, sorry, a fun game rather than a heavy burden. Mary Poppins put sugar in the medicine for a reason. That lady really knows how to party. <laughs> okay, exactly. That page of cups. We don't have to... You know, we can have this playful energy whether we are giving it to a situation that we know will expand and, you know, be in our lives for decades or if it's just going to be a five minute interaction because it's just fun. It It's a boost to our life force energy. Um, okay, spontaneity. Do you like spontaneous adventures of the highest calibre? The only acceptable answer to this question is yes. So buckle up, Charlie. And then it says, there's a pretty good chance your name is not Charlie. You're about to take a wild ride through the unexplored, unconventional and underrated. You're about to learn that yes is a magic word with the power to unlock new dimensions in space, time and after hours hangouts. Yes will lead you to experiences you didn't think possible. Exactly. Yes, that's exactly it. So I just want to say again, you know, all of this talk about playfulness and fun, you're probably like that. That's just that sounds nice but it's not going to cut it because we're talking about my career, my money, my relationship. I don't know how your higher self knows, the universe, the divine knows, but these small moments of joy, spontaneous adventures lead you to what you're looking for around the practical, stable realm. Um, and, and that's where the trust comes in. Uh, yes will lead you to experiences you didn't think possible and teach you that lifelong friendships are sometimes lurking just behind a karaoke sing a karaoke singer's mullet. Okay, there we go. Maybe, yeah, someone wants to sing, someone wants to do karaoke. But um, saying yes, pushing yourself outside a comfort zone. And that's a good example with singing or karaoke specifically. No one's doing karaoke because they're trying to be the next Adele you know mostly people do karaoke because they're in a bar and it's fun and they're not expected to be perfect there's something here about doing things um for the fun of it not because you're trying to be perfect and the best and that is hard when you're used to being the king of pentacles who people look at and think wow this person has really perfected what they're doing you know so you might also struggle with um, being a perfectionist, which is maybe, you know, you're, you're a self-starter, you're self-motivated, you're very driven. If you slack, you're going to be the first one to whip yourself on the back, you know, and that's how you got to this position. And your higher self is saying, well, that's, that's all well and good, but now let's try a more gentle way. Equal success, but without being your harshest, your own harshest critic. You may have even reached a point of burnout. It's like, I can't keep going the way I'm going. Um, something needs to change I need to find a more of a relaxed way of doing things I need to, to I don't know just just be kinder to myself I want the same level of success and achievement um but something's got to change and I think it's letting this inner voice out that that isn't always striving for perfection you know wants to wants to be good and and to you know do things well but also wants to have fun as well along the way Okay, so I'm going to leave this here, but I hope this had some messages in here for you. Thank you so much for watching. And like I said, I'll be back tomorrow um, with a love reading. So I will see you then. Bye.